Hello everyone, this is Inspire Hustler. I have posted a photo on Facebook and ever since I've been receiving non-stop personal messages asking me on how I got certified. So for today, I will be discussing the necessary documents you need to become eligible and challenge the medical laboratory technologist or medical laboratory assistant exam in Canada. In Canada, they have CSMLS, which stands for Canadian Society for Medical Laboratory Science. So this is now the embodying organization which will now tell you if you are qualified to challenge the medical laboratory technologist or the medical laboratory assistant exam in Canada. So there are actually two ways in order to become eligible to write the CSMLS certification exam. First is when you are a Canadian candidate, which means you are educated in Canada and you have successfully completed an accredited medical laboratory technologist education program. If you guys are one of these candidates, you guys can just go ahead and apply for that. And secondly is when you are internationally educated. For internationally educated candidates, you need to understand that you need to be declared eligible through the CSMLS prior learning assessment in order for you guys to become eligible and challenge the medical laboratory technologist or the medical laboratory assistant exam in Canada. Declaring eligibility means that you guys have been qualified and you have reached an equivalency to Canadian standards. CSMLS will need your credential evaluation reports and they will only accept reports coming from West and ICES. So just go ahead and type west.org on your screen. We're rooting for Canada, so we're going to change this to West Canada. West is World Education Services. It is a non-profit organization which caters for internationally educated individuals who wants to perform their professions in US and Canada. So WES will now identify and describe your credentials. They will verify that your credentials are authentic. They will now determine your GPA equivalency on US and Canada and the authenticity of your documents. They will also now offer you an ICAP. ICAP is something that WES will offer to permanently store your completed credential report into their system just so in the future when you need those reports forwarded into specific institutions, universities or any licensing bodies, you can just go ahead and ask them to send it directly on those institutions. They will also give you a West Digital Badge, so this is something that they give to persons who have successfully completed all of the requirements. West will also have different evaluations and for CSMLS, CSMLS will require a course-by-course -course evaluation or the West ICAP. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the required documents. So for required documents, uh, equivalency country, we need Canada. So are you applying for IRCC? IRCC stands for Immigration Refugee Citizenship in Canada. So if you guys are applying for that, go ahead and click yes. But if no, just click no. So country of education, since West caters for individually, internationally educated individuals, uh, and I'm internationally educated. I was actually educated in the Philippines. Name of your institution. So whatever appears on the screen, just go ahead and, and click on that. And there you go. So view the requirements. Okay, so they will now be needing your academic transcript. It needs to be an official document. Official documents are documents that are sealed. And there are two options on how you can do it. So that's you go to your institution, ask the office of the registrar to provide your official document and mail it directly to us. 
or you can ask your institution to give the mail to you and you will be the person to mail it to us. However, you need to understand that when you are sending it to us, you need not open it because they need a sealed envelope. So this is how it should look like the name of your institution. West will now give you a specific reference number once you've logged in into their account. And uh, this is not the right mailing address, so I'll give you the right mailing address. And in the front, uh, there should be a seal in there. You also need this official signature. That official signature stands for the signature of the person who will now be processing your official documents. So you need to ask them to sign that for you. And also this one, you need to download this one because you need this document together with your official documents sent to us. So for this portion, this is for you. You need to answer this correctly. You need your reference number, your signature, the date, and for authorized officials, this is for the person who will now be processing your official documents. You need to ask them to also answer this and include these on the papers to be sent to us. And then we're gonna start the application. So evaluation in Canada. Okay, so Wes now needs a standard application. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. This should be the ones that should appear when you are signing up for an account. So do you have a Wes reference number? Just go ahead and answer yes. So that Wes will now give you a specific one. Once you've all successfully answered all of this, just go ahead and click on that and create an account. And, uh, how it looks like in, inside um, we're gonna log into my account and see what there is so once you've completed all the documents it will say in here that you have no pending steps so uh, since west now requires course by course evaluation or west icap you need to remember that and that is the thing that you need to ask west to do for you and they will also give you a reference number and we have some details in here okay so view to the recipient so one of my recipients is csmls so after Wes will now be processing or have completed your credential evaluations you need to ask them to forward your documents to csmls directly and uh, once you've also applied for the PLA assessment with CSMLS, CSMLS will now give you a specific PLA number and you need not forget that when you are requesting WES or ICAS to forward your documents to WES, uh, to CSMLS, I mean. And uh, view electronic report, they also have this. It says it's not an official copy since the official copy will be mailed to you in papers. You have your reference number and you will be now seeing your Canadian equivalency minus three years. These are your GPA grades and that's it. So go ahead and uh, apply for WES if you prefer it. Next is ICES. So just go ahead and type bcit.ca slash ICES slash on your computer. This should be the screen that should be appearing on you guys. So ICES is actually only exclusively for Canada. West, on the other hand, is both for US and Canada. Um, and for CSMLS, they will be requiring you to submit them a comprehensive ICES report. So let's go ahead and take a look at the general application. So this will be the same to uh, West they will be both just requiring your official transcript mail from your institution directly into their uh, mailing address so there you go and how to submit once you've gone through your institution and ask them to forward your official transcript into ICS this is the mailing address and you guys can also do email so ask your um, institution to send your official documents into this email if you prefer email and let's take a look at the service and fees so um, since CSMLS requires you 
to send them a comprehensive report uh, that's worth 230 Canadian dollars so ready that and uh, that's it secondly is your language proficiency testing Canada is a bilingual country so language proficiency simply raises a question were you educated in English or French when you go to your educational institution and ask for your documents forwarded to US or ICES, you need to request a separate letter confirming your language of MLT instruction. If your credential evaluation states your language of instruction was in English or French, you do not need to take a language test. If your language of instruction was not in English or French, you must take a language test to meet the, the language proficiency requirement. So CSMLS will only accept the following English language proficiency tests. You have the Michener English Language Assessment or the MELA. We also have the TOEFL or the test of English as a foreign language. We also have IELTS or International English Language Testing System. And you also have the Canadian test of English for scholars and trainees, which is also known as the CAN test. So for French language proficiency tests, they will only accept the Canadian test of French for scholars and trainees, also called the test CAN. Third is your medical laboratory education. So contact your educational institution and ask them to send official transcript and course outlines directly to CSMLS. However, if you have already sent your official document to WES and WES have delivered verified copies of your transcript with your WES ICOP report to CSMLS, you do not have to request a second set of transcript from your educational institution. Fourth is your clinical education or your practical internship. So you should ask an official representative from your educational institution or the laboratory to send a letter to CSMLS describing your structured clinical education. So you must assure that the official letter should include the detailed outline of the topics covered and tests completed in the training, the amount of time spent in the training, the methods used to monitor your progress, an explanation of how you were evaluated or graded, and a complete list of all the tests performed. Fifth is your work experience on official representative from the laboratory where you have worked must send a letter directly to CSMLS describing your work experience as a medical laboratory technologist or as a medical laboratory assistant. So the last five years of work experience are the most important to have for your prior learning assessment and official letters must be printed on official letterhead they must be signed by the official representative of the laboratory they should include the dates of employment they should include the department rotation if you've worked in more than one department it should include the list of tests you have performed it should include the equipment or methods you've used to perform these tests it should include the frequency of testing it should include the number of samples you've processed on a weekly basis and it should be mailed directly to CSMLS. Sixth is your professional certification. So if you have received professional certification or licensure in medical laboratory technology from another country like me, so I'm actually certified in the US and licensed in the Philippines, so I actually ask this to professional certification association bodies and ask them to send proof of my professional certification directly to CSMLS. Lastly is your continuing education. So just contact your educational institution and ask them to send official transcript directly to CSMLS for MLT or MLA courses taken within the last five years like refresher courses. And if you are taking a course now, you should also send them a proof of enrollment and then expected date of completion.